All right, well, good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you for attending our J July development update. Uh, we are 19 souls on board and before we get started, we do wanna thank the, the staff, the faculty, our alumni advisors, uh, other members of the cohort who have helped us to work on this project and get it to the state that it's in today. We'd also like to congratulate the uh, previous teams who all made your presentations already. Uh, and we'd also like to wish everybody good luck on your final exam. So good luck, certainly, certainly good luck on that. Um, so this of course is the final development update uh, for the game Soul Shard. Um, and there is a little thing, uh, and we'll go ahead and bring up the lights just one more time real quick, break the whole theme of it. There's just one little thing that we've kind of been dealing with, a little bit of an insurgency within the team, a little bit of uh, like uh, tribalism going on here. Um, as you know, we have a couple of, of characters in the game. And there's a couple of different factions that have kind of developed, and it's a real struggle to try to unify uh, these devs into a single project when they're all divided in their own camp. So if the team will stand up, we would like to demonstrate that we do have Team Ambrose, Team Nimue, and uh, Team Cyborg. Um, so who cheers for the bad guys, by the way? I just don't get that. Okay, so... You're the good guys from our perspective. <laughs> To be fair, they are tragic heroes or, or tragic losses in the game. Okay, so th thank you uh, to the team. Uh, go ahead and bring the lights down and we'll go ahead and get this started. Um, so again, uh, it's been a long journey to get us here, uh, but if we roll back time just about eight months ago, we do remind, want to remind you of a couple of items that we learned and we did along the way. Back in December, the team of 19 young developers came together, well, all of them but one, right? Um, came together and decided to uh, try to discover a mechanic that had never been used before, something new, something different. Um, and so what we decided to do was to create four teams that over the month of December with one programmer, one artist, one producer, and one tech designer uh, to each come up with their own ideas. Um, and they did come up with a variety of ideas that were really cool to look at, uh, cool to talk about, and cool to fight over on which we wanted to do for the project. Uh, one of those actually came out to be that epiphany mechanic. Um, as you well know, we have our uh, platform device that's in the game. Um, it is a unique experience, certainly for the team, and we hope for uh, any other designer that's out there. Uh, and on the 28th of December, we came together and we had our great mind meld, our great mind map, uh, to discover what kind of game we wanted to, to produce. Uh, now, without going into some of the themes and the tones, because we're going to hit that pretty hard later on, what we did develop, obviously, is a two-player local co-op game with a split screen. Now, the thing is, is it's a platformer, but it's a platformer probably unlike no other, and there are some puzzling, puzzling elements to it. But a little bit about the platform. So when you're putting together a presentation, sometimes you come across some great old artifacts uh, that dig back a little bit in time. Um, and there is one developer that came up with an idea on one of their teams, Team Butterfly. I don't know how that got the name, uh, but on one of their teams, and they were unable to be present for the, the meeting on the 28th. And so they pre-recorded a little bit of video that explained this little discovery that they made that we wanna play for you now. Uh, now we've coupled that audio with the video of some elements of the development of this platform in time. Um, so let's take a listen. Um, so our idea started as a capture mechanic to contain objects within an area. And then this grew into giving the player the ability to spawn custom geometry into the world using uh, procedural mesh generation at runtime. Um, so once a player makes these objects, they can be used for a lot of different things, like physics collisions and for the capture zone we started with. And then a lot of other things too, a lot of different gameplay elements that could create barriers to block objects or bridges to walk across and things to solve puzzles. And um, the way it works is so the player will be able to deploy what we've been calling artifacts. And these artifacts will then link up and generate an array of triangles based on their position. And then those triangles will get sewn together to create a 3D mesh that can be used for a lot of different things. Um, and just for like a, a point of view, so the, the reference I've been having when I've been working on this is kind of like a third person action adventure game. Um, and you can kind of use these this different geometry to solve puzzles and for combat, but it, it can be used for a lot of different things. So it, uh, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys think about it. And so the cool thing is that we can also place these orbs uh, in other ways. 
So for example, if we wanted to create, let's say a bridge we wanted to walk on, we could put these here and we could put those up here. And now when we generate our zone, well, I got skewed a little because I have an extra one, but you can see it generates the shape. So it's, it's using that other ball over there, but it generates this platform that we can run up and jump on and interact with and do a lot of different cool things with. Um, so, so that's it. So we can use this at runtime. I think it's a cool idea because it can be used for so many different gameplay elements. And so it makes for a cool kind of main power for our character player. Um, and like I said, I kind of been picturing a third person action adventure game, but if you guys like this base idea of the mesh generation, um, I'm definitely interested to see what we can all come up with. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks, thanks for your time, guys. I'll see you when the semester starts. So what you see is really what is the heart of the game? What is that soul uh, item? Let's do that. That we built this game around. Now, following what we did in December, we came together in January and we developed what would be the pillars of uh, the ideas that supported the concept and the development of the game, i.e. we came up with the razors for the game. Now, uh, it was a naive producer that presented to you the idea that we had four razors and he was very quickly corrected and we understand that now. Um, so really what the razor for this game, and this is a throwback slide from January, uh, was that it's a portfolio game. What we have come to understand is that the additional razors that we would identify are actually enabling objectives in order to get there. So our development team wanted to make sure that this player experience was something that was memorable, even if you just play just a few minutes of the game. Uh, we think we've hit that. Uh, we're working on making sure that the code at the end is gonna be AAA quality, um, the most professional code that we could possibly produce for the game. And of course, we wanted to make sure that we had this iconic visual style for the game, for the art. We do believe that we've achieved that with the assets, the, the uh, textures, the post-processing effect, and the alighting uh, that we have in the game. So with one snapshot, you would be able to identify that, yes, this indeed is Soul Shard. So now from that, we have this whole idea that this game is a portfolio piece. Well, what exactly does that mean? Um, so in order to get there, we needed to be able to accomplish each of those enabling objectives. And as we show you our live demo today, we hope that we can say that we've achieved that. We would hope that you would agree with us. Um, but in addition to that, um, we don't wanna just uh, go with this idea of this platform. We have one more throwback question. And the throwback question from January is, is, what if we developed a game where you didn't have a jump? A platformer where you didn't have a jump. So that's a January question that kind of set out in the ether there for a long time. And there was a lot of push back and forth and you'd walk into to the cohort one day and you'd have a super jump off of that bear. And you'd walk in another day and this guy couldn't like step up above a curb that was like this big. Um, and it was very difficult to really kind of lean into or lean out of and it, and it, and it really kind of tore at the identity of the game just a little bit. But we had so much gameplay with our sixth graders to our undergrad students and so much enjoyment out of it that we decided that it was time to lean in. And since the last development update, we really leaned into this and we killed it. Press the space bar and you do not jump. So that leads to two possible results. I will tell you it is very frustrating because you expect that you will be able to jump. And it's funny as hell. It really is because you have to rethink, how do I get through this platforming environment and I can't do that? Well, that's where we add these beautiful features of the platform. So leaning back into the idea that this is a portfolio game, we didn't want it just to be the only portfolio item that we had. We wanted to pay attention to the developer's needs. So each of the developers were asked, what is it that you would like to be able to commit to the game to add to your portfolio that will help us also satisfy what our razor is for this game? And a lot of times we were able to hit it the first time, but some of the times we went ahead and gave it a little bit of rudder and moved in a different direction. Um, but in the end, uh, we're very satisfied at the quality and the quantity of the portfolio items that we have, as we are seeing in some of the, the results of the job uh, acquisitions that folks are getting. So among these portfolio assets, and this is not an exhaustive list, 
We have actor animations and or actor animations and rigs, final cut scene. Uh, we have modular wall sets. Obviously, our lighting has seen a great deal of effort into it. We have a collectible set. We are collecting artifacts in the game. We have a hero piece. We have a custom 2D cut scene at the beginning of the game. We have smart materials, platforms, animation exporter tool. We have dev tools along the side as well. Obviously, we have AI in the game for the cyborgs, and there's so much more that is out there. So we're very proud of the developers on the team that they're walking away with a full set of portfolio items. So then, what is Capstone? Capstone's the experience. And we have not hidden any of the negative or the positive or the problems or the solutions. We've hid nothing from this cohort. And it's been very clear that it's been a very passionate and sometimes disturbing team to work with. <laughs> I have pissed off every developer on this team and I guarantee you that they've pissed me off. And I'm very, very happy that we've done it because every single developer on this team has grown to work to be able to work together to, despite adversity and understanding that adversity is not really the problem. Okay, the inability to break through the adversity to get on the wall, that's the problem. So we've done that and we're very, very proud of this team for having that experience. Now, just to lighten the mood a little bit, we did ask the first of a series of questions, some of which we're gonna ask next week in our little dev diaries. Um, and we asked them, what are you taking to the industry? So just take a moment to hear some of the responses. The main thing I learned during this capstone process, process is to trust your own gut and to make sure to assert yourself when you see things that aren't happening or things that are happening in a way that's unorganized or not put together is that you need to assert your own will and not just wait for somebody else to do it. And you know, you have to be your own, your own advocate and your own champion. Like what? What are you? What are you taking with you to industry? Knowledge. <laughs> tech art stuff. Tech art. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Better communication skills and an understanding of how teams function. Wait, was I supposed to say the question again? So what I'm taking with me to industry is patience. Uh, it's really hard to have an idea for a project and then wait and wait and wait to see it finally develop, but it was worth it. Just squashing a bug. Hindsight. Largely the lesson that ranks and titles do not matter, not anywhere near as much as having every person on the team in positions where they can perform at their best, meaning positions that aren't toxic to their own individual morale, causing them to have a bad time working and thus not be producing as rapidly or effectively as they could be where they're more emotionally invested. Okay, what I'm taking to the industry is my knowledge that you can, you know, cry in a corner with your friends, oh, and it's okay I... to cry in a corner with your friends. Why are you here? You're not on their team. <laughs> You're not on their team either. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I want to bring to industry? I would probably say just my growing in passion for love. <laughs> Being a character designer is a lot harder no, than a job. Um, um, these are the same saturation as the last match, and I'm pretty sure that we, we get the perfect <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of humor along with some serious thoughts there, but also a sneak peek into some of the things that we might introduce here on August 5th for your entertainment. So this does get us down to one of the final pieces of official business that we have, and obviously that's the bug burndown, also known as Grace Hopper's Revenge. If you know who that is, then good for you. If you don't, we'll talk later. Now, in the meantime, in order to get that bug burndown effort done, 
Uh, we have developed uh, test scripts for the uh, QA efforts to make sure that we have a complete set of checklist items of the things to look for so that we can find the bugs. Um, because to be fair, we do understand that we haven't found them all. We've just found the ones that we have. And that includes right now 63. Uh, of which we have solved 61 of them, two remaining bugs uh, at this time, uh, with one of those being a class C, one a class D bug. Now that said, again, we've got another week or so that we're gonna continue to push that QA effort. Uh, so we'll be using these scripts in order to get that done. Now this leads us into really um, this live demo that we have. Uh, we're holding nothing back. One of the themes over the last month was leave nothing on the table. Um, I'm sad to tell you that there is one thing that we've left on the table. Uh, you'll see that uh, next Friday uh, and we'll go more deeply into it. But it's incredible that the amount of assets that have come into play in this last month, uh, and you're finally going to understand what the story is of Soul Shard. So those features do include the voiceovers, the real-time cinematic cameras, intro cinematics, a yard sequencer, a hint system, collection system, and a full narrative. Um, so in just a moment, you are gonna see this game live uh, from beginning to end, and you're gonna see really what we want you to understand is an interactive experience, right? This is, a, this is about interactive entertainment. Well, you as an audience don't get to appreciate that quite so much as the two players that we're gonna have play for you. But what we would like for you to do is to lean into that just a little bit and try to enjoy it in as much as they do. So if you see something that you would like to tell them about, then by all means, tell them about it. If you want to cheer them on for what they're doing, by all means, cheer them on. If you want to laugh at them, by all means, we're prepared to be laughed at. Um, <laughs> but they are certainly ready here. They are certainly ready uh, to go ahead and play this game for you. And let's go ahead and do a sound uh, or a check over on the sound and let's launch the game. You're sure with, uh, you're sure with sound, right? Did you do that? Uh, I did. Okay. okay, I'm gonna come off of the remote. Yep. And you're gonna be turning this way to my system. Okay, can Zoom still hear us? Yeah. Yeah. Get her. Uh, I'll just okay. let you take over from here. Okay. This mouse isn't. Okay, we'll be the clown. Uh, all right. Okay. Do we know if we're sharing the sound? Because the sound is really, really pretty. Oh shit. Do we know if we're sharing the sound? Uh, how would I do that? Can you guys hear that? Yeah. Cool. All right. Great. Oh. In a time many years past, fate set the stage for a tale unlike any other. The great comet crashes down from beyond. It strikes the workshop of a grand inventor, Castile. Grand, but desperate. With the threat of bankruptcy winding down his back, he experiments with the mystical shards. Workers begin to leave, seeking stable employment. As if in response, people begin to go missing. The gears of progress continue to turn. This does not go without notice. Nimue, young prodigy, and child of the negligent Castile can only watch in horror.
both abandoned by their creator, Nimue and Ambrose, a cyborg bear, become fast friends. It's not long until the darkness of the truth reaches them. They realize what must be done. Thus, our story begins. The story of the soul shard. <laughs> How do I get rid of that bar? <laughs> Control, Control oh, shift. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. uh, so we have settings. Just to show. Let's go. Hey, yo. Let's review the plan. I only had enough shards to make one artifact. You can throw it anywhere, or call it back. With my remote, it can bounce me like a trampoline, conceal me like a chameleon, rock us like a teeter tarter, and go back to normal again. Got it, love? There, that building in the distance where the lightning struck. We need to go there. Those lug nuts won't let us pass. We'll have to go through the basement. I think there are doors by the canal. I won't let anyone else suffer like you did, Ambrose. Starting. 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 Okay. Getting the. Oh, yeah, sure. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, Hundred okay. percent speed run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got this. Yeah. One pair of shoes. Come on, Abby. We gotta be super duper quiet if we want to see the gaffer. Our shoes will be too loud. If you're not like yeah. deaf, you can tell that's Roscoe. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hello. What if I wield this too? Oh, it's <laughs> maybe I shouldn't go. Damn you to hell! <laughs> Humans are so fragile. Gross. Try the artifact here. Our first challenge. <laughs> you leave him alone. All right. Oh, you're across. You're good. Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, oh, you no, just jumped no, no, no. off. <laughs> Wait. I didn't know the bear smelled that bad. Oh no. You're good. Oh, well, you can get the. Yeah. Nice. All right. No, never mind. Oh, there wait, you go. Yeah. Got this. It's a, it's a simple task. Can I? Walk across. Right. Nice. Well, right, I failed right. the first one. <laughs> you made it, and then you fucking dove. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tutorial's meant to fail, you know? Alright. <laughs> Alright, don't want to outlaw. Yes. 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 Just. You absolute oath! No smarter than lemmings! There was a slightly smarter than a lemming. A little bit. Just like a tiniest bit. I feel like you could trick them like really easily. Pick that up. Nice. We're not going to get lost, Abby. Oh, that's you again, right? <laughs> Simba! The door console's broke. We need that to go on. Careful, there's a live wires down there. Uh, the cyborg! He could short circuit the console! Here we go. Hope it doesn't hurt him too bad. Alright, pick up a shard. Don't forget the shard. You always forget the shard. A shard? Alright. I didn't expect to find another one. I wonder. Yeah, debate him. <laughs> I fucking love the way it runs. Get to, get to. Ayo, and. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna go? You wanna go in the pit? <laughs> I'll, I'll get her in the pit. Closer. Hey. Yeah. I want to be here. I promise. <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm, I don't think she died. I think he just fell. Oh. I, I will make the death count more than zero. <laughs> useless. These boilers are useless. <sighs> They'd be better as circus balls than a mechanical tool. Maybe I could resell them to some acrobats. Piccadilly's coming around this year. Steve got me. Must be more careful. It could kill. It could kill. Watch this, Ambrose. Well, I can run on the boil yeah. like an acrobat. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're lucky, Ambrose. It's peaceful. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <laughs> Bad gun. Useless. Right, here's, here's These mode. boilers are here's useless. <sighs> Speed running with you. <laughs> They'd be better as circus balls oh, than a mechanical this, tool. I can run Maybe I could resell them for some acrobats. Piccadilly's coming around this year. Alright. Steve right, got me. Okay. Must be more careful. It could kill. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's all your fault. I'm just calling you my I'm warning you. <laughs> if they're, they're playing cards, they're hanging out, and we just ruin their- <laughs> What do you mean they don't deserve it? Team Ambrose nonsense. This, this looks like my mom. It works! This it works! Alright, let's go. Get off me! <laughs> Let go! Nicholas, help me! The rocks aren't working! I... I... Nicholas! Come back! Nicholas is a coward. I voice Nicholas and Nicholas and Nicholas are messed up and... Ambrose, they're chasing me again. <laughs> Alright. A lot of gears. How novel. The cyborg rode the gears to escape me. It won't do that again. I bet we can ride him like a Ferris wheel. Guess it's a miniature one to use first. Make it bouncy first. Bouncy first. This is the Ferris wheel. This is the the bouncy. Hey! I know he went to height. I see. Okay. Ready? Oh, sorry. I don't listen. Once more onto the breach, dear friend. Oh, you made it, you made it. Nice. If it really was that bad, a, like, the door's over there. Literally. Working hard, hard to work. I can't. <laughs> I can't Isn't do I it seriously. You're barely off your honeymoon. You have to be in there, Alfred. Alright, you wanna go first? Or the problem child on this level. I'm the problem. <laughs> you are absolutely I'm, problem. I'm, 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 oh, that one <laughs> that was I'm gonna pull back just <laughs> okay, I will not die this time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you using Why are you using really dancing? I'm literally chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to show off my paycheck trick shot. Hey. Honestly, amazing. That was done in one try. He's staring at us. Shit, look, he's staring at us. He's, he's pissed. You're gonna take a shard. Hmm. Look. Ta da! Made right. you another artifact, buddy. <laughs> one here, another over there, right. and we Consoles, get a lovely place. Uh, the console's over there. I can't Do you like it? Get over there. Uh, I think I, I think know. you can get over there. Okay. And the door's over here. So if you can, <laughs> good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> Just be good. Just get good. I can drink them. I can drink them. All right. All right. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Nice choice. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. You're good. Nice. All right. Let's get, let's get the fuck out. Nice. <laughs>
I want to take a nap. Can I use you as a pillow? You are currently trespassing on private property. Leave now. Or don't. The cyborg will take care of you. Just don't gallop the gear work. On the one hand, is it really trespassing if I'm his daughter? <laughs> On the other, it's not like he knows who's broken in. I'm sure security just detected two intruders. <laughs> On the other, other hand, or on your phone, perhaps. No death run. I think he'd be enraged if he knew it was us. <laughs> you got it. I can survive it. All right, all right. Yeah, that doesn't work on this one. <laughs> going so fast. I think father is exceeding the safety limit on this beat. squeeze by, but you're a big boy, Ambrose. Wow. I'm yeah, as the play tester said, I'm a badass. <laughs> yeah. It's me! It's me! Look, Ambrose, yeah. it's you. Right. What are you doing back over here? I'm gonna try and break these. Hey, yo! I just take a few tries. Not a good shot. <laughs> There's a shot right there. I'm gonna get this clock. Let's go steal some keys. Yeah, we're busy collecting like really great stuff. You won't notice. And afterwards, let's jam nails under our fingernails because we're just full of great ideas. Ready to go? No. I'm like running into you, so you go ahead. Did you just die? I think I'm on that. Alright. Now, that time, it had to be done. It had to be done. Alright, alright, alright. No, no, no. I won't. I swear I won't You got this, I swear. <laughs> That's the right word. Alright, let's go. Do you need some oil? Yeah. You, you want his big paw just slamming on that? <laughs> Get them, you scrap metal to dance! You'll go no further with him around intruders. Alright, we'll see about that. I bet we can dodge right. him. Let's go to the door. <laughs> this is not to out Roscoe, one of the hardest ones we had to practice. <laughs> I, I still have that up. You oh, you lost him! Really you lost him! Yeah. Don't break like this. Are you gonna be able to get past him on the stairs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably be fine. He's, he's he's thinking about it real hard. All right, okay, I'm, I'm moving. You just keep on. You just keep him on. All right. Yeah, you, yeah, you know. All right. <laughs> you're, you're, you're good. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm waiting, like, on <laughs> no. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna be really tough for you. This is a small platform. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let me. <laughs> and bring around the rosy. Okay. 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 Let's go. 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 We go across. Oh, I almost pulled it from underneath. I don't want to talk back. Okay. 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 Hey. Okay. Okay. Darn it! He must have cut right. power to the console. This one's gonna be we'll have to short circuit it. A yeah. cyborg was before, so right? We gotta, uh, we gotta kill him again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that should be. Good. Why am I going off? <laughs> Get him! He's just he's, he's too smart. He's too smart. Are you off? Are you off? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Console screen. Console's powered. We can right. open the door. 
I wish we didn't have to hurt them, though. They were my friends before Father got to them. Yeah, and now they're cyborgs. Soul Shard. <laughs> Soul Shard. I struggled so hard with them. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Okay. This next one is kind of tough, so we're going to go ahead for this one and turn on hits. And give it a quick restart. And the ambient. And then control alt shift H. A. Okay. Ooh. I've removed the stairway. You are thwarted by gravity itself, vagrants. They're strong up. We've come this far. Something <laughs> they're, they're, gravity they're, they're won't they're show us. They're hanging. They're hanging Have there. you ever yeah. been on a teeter totter, Ambrose? You want to try? Hey, okay. We can make one with the pipe. <laughs> Bullheaded little beasts. But what time? There's no one left in this okay. town. So we'll I use them up one by one. Right. A traveler, perhaps. An adventurer. I didn't expect him to admit it so easily. He almost sounds proud. It was so lonely growing up with him. When I got older, the townsfolk made it better. And now they're gone. I don't know what I'd have done without you, Ambrose. See, I get on one end and you get on the other, and we go up and down. Or we would, if you weren't so big. Don't be sad. We can teeter totter to <laughs> And being big means there's more hugs. Some do I. Snod nosed child too clever for their own good. I'm painfully familiar with one of those. Lowest, like, elevator Insert. So repulsive. You got it. You got it. Her own mother left her. He's just upset. It's not your fault. Mom Whoa, loved you. She didn't want to go. I mean it, Ambrose. I'm not sure I'd still be around if you weren't here. I think that would be one disappearance. Father oh, wait, wait, no, there's... Did you get the collectible oh, thing? Oh, nothing. Actually, can I have a hug? I love you, Ambrose. The console's up here. Let me just... Leave now, Nimue, and take your mutt with you. I will not be as merciful if you bother my experiments again. Merciful? He almost struck me. He would have, if not for you. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure if I was just saying you were there. Like you were in agony. I'm not sure if he knows what mercy is. Alfred. So, uh, don't want to break his ankles, so give him a little bit of 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 Butter bear. Butter bear. Okay. Uh, we got all the. You want to get that one? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or not. Or yes. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Clearly, you cannot be trusted. I'm trying the to teeter talk. Stop fighting okay. me. You have to come with me now. <laughs> uh, I remember, I gotta make sure. Yeah, I gotta make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm simply but a moment. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 